this beautiful sunny day. This is David Bedford and I am at one of the most famous places in the world you could ever think of. The famous road linked with Liverpool and the Beatles of course. It is Penny Lane. But it's not just Penny Lane, it's Penny Lane. And the song of Penny Lane is on Penny Lane but it's not what it is. But it's not. Ah, it will all make sense, don't worry. Stick with me, let's go and explore what the Beatles were really singing about in Penny Lane. But it's an important place for all the Beatles, but also across here at Liverpool College is where Brian Epstein was at school, one of the many schools he attended. Uh, this one he was actually expelled from. It's also obviously a place where many, many tourists visit every year. You get thousands of them coming to Liverpool and everybody wants to see Penny Lane. So the song of Penny Lane isn't, as I was saying, actually on Penny Lane itself really. I'll explain more later. But chaos was caused in Liverpool a few years back when James Corden and Paul McCartney got together to do their special, which has been seen by millions of people. What was the chaos? Well, Mr McCartney jumped out of the car, went to this street sign, and he signed it. So let's take a wander up Penny Lane until we get to the roundabout at the top and that's where the song is based. We'll find out more when we get there. One of the Beatles connections with Penny Lane was when they made the film of Free as a Bird. We saw the children with the piggy mask running down this alleyway the camera came around and saw things projected onto the, the side of this row of shops. And this row of shops was taken back to how it possibly could have looked back in the 1950s. At the end of this block is Penny Lane Fish and Chips and there's been a chip shop there for decades. Now I know there's a couple of meanings for, for a Fisher Finger Pie but the lads did actually come down here when they were on Penny Lane and get their uh, fish and chips from here. Still a good chippy. It's an interesting little bit of the song, uh, it's often repeated, it's very strange. Well, on this block of shops just here, there used to be two brothers who had their own business and they were Nessa's Strange and Strange. So, who knows, everything in the song is very strange. When John and George were kids, they were younger, and they attended Dugdale Primary School, and after getting off the bus at Penny Lane, where we'll be in just a moment, they would walk down Penny Lane and turn here onto Dovedale Road. And right down there is Dovedale Primary School. So John and George attended there up to the age of 11. Um, and John's friend Ivan Vaughan, who of course very important in the story, was also there. So Dovedale Towers was a quite famous place because before it became Dovedale Towers, all those years ago, back in the 50s and 60s, it was St Barnabas Church Hall, and there was a dance hall attached to the building just to the right, so they're no longer there, sadly. But the Quarrymen played there, uh, and the Beatles played here as well. So it was a famous place to come, and again, it's on Penny Lane. So there's all these connections, and it will all make sense soon. 